<laughs> Jack, is this your channel? <laughs> hello, say hello, guys. Hello, guys. Say hello. Hello. How are you? Say I'm fine. Hey, say subscribe. Try. Say I love you. Are you? Are you? <laughs> hello, guys. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. Hello. My name is Olivia. <laughs> Yeah, thank you, thank you. And we have a shin unboxing. So we have a shin unboxing, guys. And that's packaging from shin. And let's do the honors, okay? Let's unboxing, oh my god. And um, the first thing I can see here is these three pairs of tights for my daughters. Okay. There are three colors, so I decided to buy these tights. There yeah, are three of them. Three of them are the same. So, girls, it has black, brown, and white. You're supposed to actually buy four, but I mean, they'll just share. Okay. And this is the measuring scale. I used to have this scale. Oh, it even came with a battery. That's good. It comes with a battery. They're actually thoughtful. It comes with a battery. The scale. I used to have it to measure my food, but um, and it came cheap, a hundred and something. I, ha I used to have the white one, but this thing is spoiled fast. Another thing I have here, guys, I so I suck or I how do they speak it? Like I'm very terrible at lashes. Very terrible. My makeup is pretty much okay, but yeah, my lashes. So I bought this one. This one's not bad though. You know, not bad at all. I'll try it on. Oh, okay. So guys, I bought my son my made like my prescription um case for my son glasses from Shane. And I want more glasses, hopefully, by God's grace. So I decided to look for the frames I like. Oh, this one looks nice. Yeah, this one will look nice. Hey. Tomorrow I have to go so that I'll see. They were running a special on my optic optician where I got my glasses. They were running a special, but most times I don't like their frames. So I hope they're still running that special so that I'll use. I bought more. I think I bought three of them. I'll use these frames to get myself, you know, nice glasses. That is really classy. But this one is an anti-blue light. In case if you don't need the glasses, this one is just good to protect your eyes and it's fashionable. So I got oh my god, these earrings are big. Hey, I got these earrings. Though they are very lightweight, very lightweight. It's very lightweight, but it's big. Yeah, but anyway, I love me some earrings just to change change up my looks. The good thing is that it's light. Looks big, boys. Can see. I really like it. I don't mind it. Yeah, I do not mind. I got this brooch. So there's these dresses I got. I got this brooch. I want to use it for my dress. I like to dress up my my outfits with brooches. Try it out. You will like it. Uh, and this is another earring. This is this type for the silver of it. The silver. Anything I buy. Sometimes I like to buy. Gold first, then if I feel it's something I would like. So, like I said, I like to buy things like gold and silver of anything if I want to. But first of all, my first choice of jewelry is usually gold. I don't know why people say they like silver. Okay, I bought those. I want to use this for my past two sides. This one maybe for concealer or something. Then, yeah, most likely for concealer. So it's nice and soft. And I got me another nail. I, I got just one this time around just one nail remember i told you guys i love shin nails but this blue is really nice baby blue oh my god this one is nice okay how much did i buy this thing almost on 70 round yeah i think so 70. so i bought this neck piece it's, uh, it's funny but it's nice so i think you just put it like this mm -hmm. Then this is like a pocket hanky. Hmm. Nah, things are so expensive in Nigeria. I wanted to buy this pocket hanky for my husband, and they were it was just too ex ridiculously expensive. Then I went for I went to Shin. This is actually the main thing. Like what you 
put he wants to put it in one of his outfits. Then you know, the price that they are calling. I like to buy this pop sunshine. Not concealer for my like powder. This should be another sunglass. Kids also need sunglasses if you don't need. Yeah, they do. This one is very nice. I'm sure she'll like it. This is the cufflinks. Nine. I priced this thing in Nigeria. It was so ridiculously expensive for me. And I'm like, nah, 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 nah. Don't do this. Let's don't do this. I was like, let's don't do this. And I went on Shein and lo and behold, it was cheap. At least affordable. Brow gel. Apparently, it keeps your brows in place, you know, before you do your eye pencil or something like that so and um, this one should be one of my sunglasses i've been seeing this glass everywhere it's so nice let's put it on i want to use the frame for my yes ah so it's not sitting so comfortably but yes <laughs> i want to you know put my prescription in it yes and ordering from shane means you have to order other more things and the clear one i think this one is my least favorite not bad though what do you think guys what do you think this is how this one is yeah. so we like so many multiple chains that are, that are tied together so this is this glass me and my kids say eh, we've broken this glass is like i can't i can't count how many at this point broken like five of them so this one this one doesn't have a lid okay so it's just without a lid but i have a lot of leads i'm sure it's supposed to come okay this one i bought i i know it's not supposed to come with a straw it's just i bought it like that just then coming to clothes these are clothes i got for my daughter picture it has a jacket and uh, material is a bit flimsy. But, I mean, this like this one is not like it's almost the same style, but just that her own, her jacket is like sewn in instead of um. It's befitting for a little girl. What size? Then this is for the, the second daughter. My second daughter. So Chigo's best um color is purple, and Uma's best color is pink. So here you have it. Same thing. Same thing. Not the best material out there, but I mean, what can you do? How many times do they wear itself? There's another one. There's another brooch. She has the best brooches. This one is nice. This one is really nice. I love me some good brooches. <laughs> Let me keep saying it as I'm bringing out. This one is really, really beautiful beautiful brooch and it's big and it's heavy and it's not flimsy so you can see this one is really nice so guys tell me which brooch is your favorite brooch of all the brooches this is actually just a simple and it has a matte feel okay and this very beautiful earring that i saw on minimalist yeah not heavy not too big but cute one thing about Shin, if you see what you like, you can actually take a screenshot wherever and um, go to their app. You will see where they have a, like a photo and click there. It will scan it and bring it out for you. That's just a tip for you. So even if there's no link and you see something that somebody said, oh, I bought it off Shin, just take a screenshot and go and search for it on Shin with the picture that icon thingy. Yeah, so... Anything you see here that you like, you can just take a, a, a screenshot and search it on Shin. You'll see it. If it's finished, you will see something similar. So I like this for my eyebrows, these brushes. All right, now to the jeans. And this is the last things I bought. I buy denim for my daughters from Shin, even for myself. And um, I'm hoping that these ones will be nice like the other ones. Okay, these ones. Look at this. Mm, it looks small, though, honestly. It does look small. And the last but not least, this one looks longer. This one looks nice as well. Okay. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe. How is winter treating you if you are in South Africa? And yeah, how is everyone doing? <laughs>
<laughs> okay today i have um, some activities welcome back to the channel and i have some activities i want to go and um go to the bank then i'm going to pick and pay and buy blueberries anyway um some days i just decide to do some just makeup and yeah how are you guys doing guys yo are you in, if you're in south africa how is the cold treating you here in our side here in Rustenburg, it's been so cold like you know this year i thought that the winter was going to be ah okay ah the winter you're not coming out this year okay whatever but guys yo the winter came out in full force eh? tell me what how your area is if you're in south africa how have you been holding up with the cold because i'm so cold like i don't want to come out but the point is kids um, are going to be closing from school like they're going to be going on winter holidays today and then they have to go to school but good thing they are they are, you know they, they are cl closing today but all this while they have to go to school so you have to come out and make lunch box and all that sometimes i even say okay you guys should just pack something whatever some days i don't want to come out but most days i come out because the baby has to also go to Correct. Good thing things are, are looking up. Here in South Africa, before the winter really, you know, got very serious, oh my God, the flu was on another level. Like there was so much viral infection. I was so sick. I think I talked about it in one of the vlogs. I was, I've never had that much of a flu in my life before. Like the flu was on another level and my kids, funny enough, the other two kids were not that i don't think the people had flu this season chico and mama maybe maybe they are so immune or what i don't know my husband also had one crazy flu and very very serious i'm like ah, if you have this much flu that i had because i i had my own before his own was coming up so i was like if you have this kind of flu that i, I that i have if this is what it is you won't even be able to function for like five days so when his flu was coming up so what i did was i said okay there's this ginger and lemon and cinnamon that my friend told him i think my friend that told me my friend at that in australia and my friend she went in switzerland went to space she also a youtuber she also told me to add um she told me to add cinnamon cinnamon and cook it very well oh my god that remedy was the brainer so guys if you are here in south africa or wherever you are and you're experiencing very crazy viral like flu outburst because we had flu outburst here in south africa in april but mainly in may even my husband would tell you that the hospitals were full. My my baby went from, on an admission, you know. She had it. She's been having this viral infection every now and then because of crutch. Anyway, but anyway, it is what it is. But like, let, before I digress, so that's ginger, garlic. No, there's no garlic. Ginger, lemon, and um, cinnamon. Do, cin no, what am I saying? I say cinnamon. Did I say cinnamon? No, it's ginger lemon and cloves those clove uh, whole cloves not blended one boil it in hot water like grind your ginger put the whole cloves like that and then put the lemon like that cook it that was what my husband was drinking oh my god then he was fine the his flu did not get as bad as mine because when my friend told me my flu had already been like five days of there yeah, it was very serious but i just want to go out but i'm just having this coffee that's your friend your best friend is teas and coffees during winter so i'm just having it and i'll be out so guys actually i remembered one thing the main thing i want to go to the mall to do so two days ago i went to cutting on here in south africa here in rustenburg if you know cutting on is a very good shop they sell both adult and children clothing so i went to um i went to cutting on we are doing massive sales and i bought things for the girls I bought clothing for the girls. They are doing, excuse me, 20, um, 50 percent off in some, 30 and all whatnot. So I got points. Um, let me just show you. So here I got points on my phone. This is my cutting on. So there's my friend there. We always call ourselves my friend. She's my friend anyway. But yeah, um, she, um, she told me that she sells. Uh, like she's a. I think she's their manager or something. So she told me that I was going to get 75 rand and my my points always expire on there in cutting on she told me that okay that after this purchase i think i bought something worth 1000 something that i was going to get 75 franc voucher but of course it expires in like two 
one month or thereabout but i should come in the next day or whenever i'm in by the mall to use it just add a, a little money to buy something for the girls like socks they are selling these socks for three I like deals <laughs> like who doesn't like it anyway i don't know who doesn't but i do like deals so she told me to come and use that money so that it doesn't expire because when we logged in we saw that a lot of my cutting on points have been expiring she was like just come and use it if it's 75 francs use it add like some money and um buy things buy something for your children or for yourself whatever so that's what I'm going to do. So I'll, I'll use my points on cutting on that is 75. Yeah, it's small, but it's something. I'll add like, I'll add 15 rands or I'll add, is it 35 rand? I'll make it up to 100 rand anyway, whatever. I'll, I'll make it up and I'll buy their socks. The socks that they're selling three for two. That is, that's in the shop there. I'll buy three of them. Three for two for 100 rand. Or, or three for 100 rand. Yes, I'll buy it like that. Then that's it. Then I'll go to the bank. Um, and then from there i may go to collect my girls and that will be it please guys um like this video like my vlog watch my vlogs share my vlogs as well because i also as much as i want to share my life as a, a nigerian in south africa i also want to document my life for my children i want them to see when they were little so i get a sneak peek of them every now and then and i get a sneak peek of my activities because you know one thing that is sure nothing lasts forever everything in this life both good and bad will pass away one day so i'm hoping to look back or you know things pass away doesn't necessarily mean that but at this stage i'll you know i'll go this stage I, i'll be in another phase of my life very soon obviously by the grace of god there's always a phase so i want to be always look back on different faces and be like okay and how i'm going to be only at be able to achieve that is through my vlogs so as much as i want to entertain you i also want to document things about myself my babies my kids my family a little not overwhelmingly so but at least a little yeah so please do watch my videos watch my vlogs share my vlogs if you like my content watch my content to the end and um give a thumbs up give a nice comment um support the channel if you want to support through you know whatever donation whatever anyhow sharing is also supporting liking whatever is just support us and yeah i love you all guys hey guys at the mall now so guys please tell me if those vlog this particular vlog is different from like the quality is different from all my vlogs because i decided to vlog via 1080p and let me just put this thing somewhere because this camera is a four um uses 4k it uses 4k this is um, my car this thing it uses 4k but editing the 4k is not easy this is um my neutrogena hand cream i notice my hand is dry so i just want to dry hand cream i hate dry lips dry hands i uh, 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 is my pet peeve i hate it so much so i dislike it actually Let's, so the word hate is a lot i dislike it so i always have hand cream in lip balm the way my lips are right now i use a lipstick but i feel as though my lips are dry but i noticed that i moved away my my lip balm i think i went out with it when I had the other bag and it's no longer here. This Neutrogena hand cream, I'm not feeling it. It has Vaseline consistency and it's not shiny. So I don't know. It's, I just bought it. I don't understand it. So I just noticed something, guys. I don't know. Does it happen to you with the old uh, iPhone? Like this, my iPhone is now how many years and um, four years i bought it in 2020 december almost four years and i refuse to upgrade it is iphone 12 pro max 500 gig or is it one terabyte or 500 gigs i just noticed that recently the quality of my pictures are very bad like very very bad very very bad as iphones as they are making making <laughs> bringing out more iphones like they are messing up the the quality of the ones they have previously don't mind this thing. This thing is a decoration for my car. I can I know it's coming out in the anyway. So my the quality of my phone is nothing to write home about. Pictures are horrible now. Like eh? So I think it's a plot for iPhone for them to make you want to upgrade. But I'm not upgrading now because this phone is still okay. Eh? I'm not upgrading now. I'm not about to upgrade. So like I was saying, the quality of those um camera guys tell me how it is. I suppose this particular vlog, I suppose other vlogs, because I'm not able to 
like the editing with my 4k quality is so slow with my laptop so so slow it takes me forever to edit i have to what do what they call preview it takes forever to like it's so it's so hectic editing 4k you have to, i think you have to have a very good laptop a very strong laptop and my laptop is how many years now i think it's three years now i got it in 2021 it's a good laptop as at then because it was all even up to 15,000. but it's not able to edit 4k very like with ease so i just decided to change to 1080p that's what they call 1080p then the other one then 4k so 1080p is what my my big camera uses uses my canon camera uses and the quality is pretty much okay so i decided to change to 1080p and from 1080p and 30 frame per seconds yeah so tell me if it's good or if the quality is okay because uh, this small camera is, is a good camera but that 4k i'm not able to deal with it so yeah let me just enter inside the mall now and do the things i want to do i'm at the mall guys I ordered some frames um online. I've been seeing these South African influencers, a lot of South African influencers talking about lens smart, lens smart. I think no uh, normaline. Norma, is it normalina? She did a video about lens smart, so I decided to order some prescription glasses from them. This one looks boring. I like to change my things and I hope it comes soon because I ordered it for like over one week now. I think they say it takes some up to three weeks or thereabouts. So I will tell you guys whenever that those pres prescription glasses um arrive. So I'm at Absa Bank. Absa Bank is the only bank that does Western Union. Here in South Africa, Absa Bank is the only bank that does Western Union. I'm just waiting. Banks are always quiet here in South Africa, unlike Nigeria. <laughs> Difference between Nigeria and South Africa. Nigerian banks are, banks are always rowdy. Oh, Absa. So. My glasses is for the chromic, so I'm just coming out from the sun. I, I didn't do what I wanted to do at the at the bank, the money transfer. They are asking me to bring a lot of documents <laughs> that I don't even have at the time. So South Africa, one thing I keep telling South Africa has ever-changing policies. Of course, it's, it's their country, so they can do whatever they like. So anyway, I'm just I went to pick and pay. I didn't even vlog. I went to cutting on pick and pay, and I'm just moving around. I want to go and get my. Guys, tell me how I look. How do I look? Let me put this thing down so that I can. I got this. I just got this delivery right now from DHL. This is from DHL, and um, I ordered a couple of Nigerian things. This is how I maintain my Nigerianness still living in South Africa. So I just want to tell you or show you how I still maintain being Nigerian in South Africa, okay? So guys, I still maintain my Nigerianness, my Nigerianness as in still being Nigerian while living in South Africa. And this is some of the ways by wearing my Nigerian attire, like wearing my Nigerian attire. Sometimes I run out of Nigerian attires in the sense that, oh, I have, these are Nigerian attires. We call them Ankara. In fact, this is an African attire. Let me not say Nigerian. This is an African print. This is the first one. It's like a trouser. I don't know if you can see it. This is a trouser. Okay. So, as I was saying, I sometimes I get fed up with the ones I have. Like, I'm, I feel I've worn these ones too much or it's no longer my size or something. And I, I go ahead and order some in Nigeria. So, before, like previous years, I used to just have to um, buy these Nigerian um, Ankara materials and start sewing. But recently, Instagram, social media has been so good to us that I have to just order on Instagram and, and you know, already made attires, then they will make it for me. So my, my husband also, we also make Nigerian clothes for my husband, myself, my children. So we, we will always maintain being Nigerian, being African, even Africans, even if we are no longer living in Africa. I don't know <laughs> or if we, even if we no longer live in nigeria but we are still nigerians we maintain our nigerianness so being nigerian in south in south africa i ordered a lot from dhl 
my my dear the dhl one eh it costed so much this is for clothes from dhl for myself and my husband um i had to adjust my tripod because it just fell down and this camera is so expensive i don't need to you don't need to fall don't fall again biko you're so expensive so as i was saying i maintain my being nigerian or my nigerianness me and my family by still wearing nigerian things wearing african prints and kara making our clothes from nigeria and all that so the first one i want to show you is this one i'm wearing this is a two-piece trouser that i made and this is the second one this is like a dress just a simple ankara african dress it's so cute guys it's so so cute I'll just be putting a picture of the model by the side so you can see it's very beautiful this is the second one so this is the first one I'll also put a picture by the side somewhere so that you, you guys can see like I said Instagram purchases I've been scammed on Instagram once only just once but every other thing I've bought on Instagram has been a win-win so this is the second one second one it's such a cute dress um very very cute very very beautiful ankara they are all ankara Af african prints with made from 100 percent cotton ankara material from straight from motherland niger <laughs> nigerians we like this kind of clothes and they are they are very very affordable if i can tell you this one is a two-piece set a, sh a top and a short so this is to give you an idea that if you're a Nigerian, you can actually order order from Nigeria. On Instagram, there are a lot of Instagram vendors that made that make ready to wear clothes. I unbuttoned this one. So this is the sec the third one. No, this is one, two, three. This is the fourth one. So I'm not about to wear. I just wore only this one that I'm wearing and the shorts because that one. I suspected it's going to be a little bit tight and yeah it was a bit tight but I will see when I lose weight. This one is a dress. A very beautiful long dress. Long, long, long. It's very long. This I think the dress is we are twenty-three thousand or so. And um the, the long dresses, the short ones we are like nineteen thousand nineteen thousand naira. This is another one. This is a short dress, it's not so short though midi say, say midi length very it has a flay hand i wear a size 14 or 16 so this is a size 16 dress and um yeah that's how they do it you just tell them your size are you 14 16 18 this is some of them don't look 16 no i'll tell you because i just told them to be on the safe side just give me 16 through up this one is another one this one is one of the ones i really 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 like and this is beautiful 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 long dress this is for summer we are in winter right now in south africa but summer i have to rock i'm a rock <laughs> this, i have a lot though but i keep buying it's a problem before seven or eight is this, this one we call it tie-dye material in nigeria it's long and um this material doesn't doesn't fade if I know the real tie dye, it doesn't really fade. We used to call it tie and dye. When I was a young child, my mom used to call it tie and dye. Tie dye. Is it tie dye or what do we forgotten what we call it, but it's a it's a very popular print in Nigeria. And this is the last. So my husband got some caps. My husband got this. This is a real chieftaincy cap from Nigeria. <laughs> you know, he wants to pair it with those his Ishiago. I will not show you the other ones from my husband, but I just want to tell you that this is how we, you know, maintain being Nigeria. You can maintain your culture wherever you are by incorporating your clothing. This is Ishiago material from my husband, the real Ishiago. This is an Igbo cultural. This was very expensive, but I don't know if is it that it's supposed to be this expensive or what. And I don't, I don't know about the material, honestly, but it's what it is. Um, yeah, this is Ishiago. The, it's Igbo people of Nigeria are known for Ishiago. So this is Ishiago. You pair it with this cap, chieftaincy cap. See this cap is a chieftaincy cap. Then you pair it with the coral beads. So this is how we as Nigerians living in South Africa maintain our Nigerianness. <laughs> and this is another one 
that my husband made but i won't i won't open this i didn't even open it yeah i also bought this cosa rice i i noticed it was cheaper buying from nigeria i also bought this foundation v beauty foundation i bought one of it um the last time i bought things from nigeria and that one was not was slightly not my shade so i bought then i bought all these beauty blenders from nigeria you know, I still buy things from Nigeria. We still have to, because this foundation is a Nigerian brand, so we still have to patronize Nigerian made make. Um, so this is a very good foundation. If you're Nigerian, check V Beauty, their second skin, Josephine's collection, whatever that means. But that's try it. It's a very very good powder. I bought all these. These are all Nigerian brand. So so we still have to maintain our cultural heritage i'm making this video to still say that me being a nigerian in south africa don't mind my face i'm just i just got the delivery now and decided to i was so excited being nigerian in south africa i still maintain my cultural heritage because i still wear niger i still wear nigeria made i still wear ankara from these are all nigerian made made in nigeria so we have to Keep wearing African made, maintain our cultural heritage wherever you are. Are you a South African in, in another part of the world? You still have to maintain your cultural heritage by wearing your cultural attire. So yeah, 